Hi, the information in this video might really change your life. Please take a deep breath and listen with an open mind. I'm Peter, and I made this channel to share some new neck, jaw, and spine stretches that I discovered this past year when I tried to widen my palate and teeth that had been narrowed over the 23 years of my life from thumb sucking, braces, and bed posture. I tried opening my mouth as wide as it can go, tried thumb pulling, of course I tried mewing, but I didn't have much progress. Finally on my birthday, out of belief and desperation, I tried something new. I bit down only using one side of my mouth, and it was a brand new feeling. I got shifting in my palate, and when I repeated it over and over for an hour, I saw the physical change. I knew I, I had unlocked a gold mine of trauma. Later, I tried cracking my jaw in a weird new direction. And this relieved tension in my neck, and I could also repeat this stretch and crack my jaw over and over again. It was another mine of unreleased tension. And I kept on experimenting and discovering more methods to relieve my neck, shoulder, back, and hip pain. And these stretches made me realize the extent of trauma and stress that I had built up in my body and that I had everything that I needed to heal myself. Since June 9th, 2021, when I first discovered how to adjust my bite, I healed much of the physical tension. I have healed much of the physical tension and trauma that I had since birth. And now I'm much more relaxed and connected. My life's become much more peaceful and my natural lifespan's undoubtedly increased. Here's a photo of me turning my head as far to the right as it can go. Left side is me in April 2021 and the right is me now. You can clearly see the major growth in my neck and jaw. Here's another comparison. You can see the expansion and more alignment in my palate and bone structure. The back molars on my lower jaw used to be so slanted and misaligned, but my bite has evened out now. The rapid growth that I made in a year at age 23 made me question our society's understanding of dentistry and wisdom teeth removal, orthodontics and braces, and many surgeons, um, even our understanding of our human body and puberty. I realized much of what we had been taught about our health may have been false. So uh, postural healing can improve appearance, but the health benefits are unimaginable. Cracking joints, untwists, aligns, connects, and strengthens the entire body, bones, muscles, organs, tissues, veins, nerves, and all bodily systems. As posture improves, flexibility and balance improves. Um, you feel more amb ambidextrous. Your nerve connections and sensitivity will improve. Your breath will naturally deepen. Hearing, circulation, and digestion will all improve, just to name a few things. And these new stretches and joint cracking techniques were key to my healing. But it really started when I stopped running from the pain and started listening to my body. The pain and stress I felt my entire life was my body communicating, telling me to slow down, to relax, and heal. When I started to do these stretches and push my jaw out a bit, uh, I immediately felt relief and I finally realized how to respond to the tension. And instead of the normal dry, dry popping, cracking sounds, I had a, it was a softer cracking sound with less air being released. Um, but with more tendon and tissue movement. And I kept twisting my head, I kept doing my one-sided bites, and kept releasing tension built up in my neck, jaw, and my palate. And it really feels like my head was screwed on too tight. It really feels like I really understand what they're saying now. <laughs> um, and, I'm under, and I'm unlocking thousands and thousands of cracks just in my spine, hips, neck, and jaw. Nearly everyone has joints to crack and tension to release especially when many are slowly weakening while at work, working 40 hours a week where it's really difficult to be conscious about posture and breath. I really think we all have greater physical potential and greater health in store for us. To reach it, we need to understand balance and be aware of our weight on our feet, our everyday stances. So our center of weight can be on the left, center, or right side of where the center of weight of our body should be when we stand straight. Um, basically, if we're leaning left or if we're balanced or if we're leaning right. So we have a left stance where the weight's on our left side of our body, uh, it's on our left heel and our right forefoot, and our right hip and shoulders ahead of our left, our head is turned and tilted to the left, and this stretches our right side. And then we have a right stance where our weight's on our right side of our body, on our right heel, our left forefoot, and our left hip and shoulders ahead of our right, 
Our head is turned and tilted to the right, and this stretches our left side. And then we have a balanced stance where our weight's evenly distributed and our neck and jaw and head are straight. So balanced people can stand in all three stances, left, neutral, right, for as long and as comfortable as they would like. Um, but many people can only stand in one stance. That's the right stance. Because without awareness, many are just stuck in the same stance, kind of like one-track minds that our society is encouraging. Just like 90% um, of people in our world are right-handed. Many things in our society are just made for right-handed people. So many people, many left-handed people are also stuck in right stance. And we can tell because when we bite down, our left molars don't properly align. The upper palate is recessed and it's inside of where uh, our lower jaw is. And because our bite's not proper, our left we can't bite down on our left side properly. We also can't stand on our left heel properly because it's because it's uh, because the true back of our left heel is too compressed into the left side and there's too much on the side of our body for us to really stand on our true left side. So the imbalance between our left and our right is too large, so the neutral stance, the balance stance, is too difficult to balance. So we're stuck in pretty much right stance. But being in the best left stance that one can be still aligns their body as it's recalibrating the muscle memory. And you can see here, the imbalance is the left side being taller, being stretched, and in front of the shorter and compressed right side. Because most parents aren't balanced, many ch people and children may have never felt balance in their bodies for as long as they can remember. So to improve balance and posture, one must increase the mobility and strength, mainly in their legs, hips, spine, lungs, neck, and jaw. It's the whole body pretty much, but... Everyone knows that stretching and exercising can increase your body's mobility and strength, but it's capped if you never unlock your joints. This is the forgotten key to physical health. Your hips, spine, chest, neck, and jaw are all designed to withstand mountains of stress. So over time, they build up and they need to be cracked and unlocked. And you can crack them by yourself with the techniques that I discovered. Even though these techniques may have given me life-changing benefits, I understand that these are only my experiences and may not be the same for everyone. When you crack your joints, stretch, or exercise, you're at risk of hurting yourself. The ideas and opinions expressed in this video are my perspectives formed from my experiences. By performing any exercises, you are performing them at your own risk. I will not be responsible or liable for any injury or harm you sustain as a result of my videos or information shared. The information provided is not intended to be a substitute for professional medical advice, diagnosis, or treatment. That said, the most pain I ever felt in this healing journey has been minor. It's been some sharp pain in my temporal mandibular joint for an instant when my bite was too misaligned. I just needed to do my realign, my palate realignment exercises and it was better. Or when my calves and feet muscles were cramping from, the, from uh, shifting and aligning overnight. I just needed to stand and stretch them and the cramp went away. So to try or not is your decision and your responsibility. To start aligning the body, we begin with our core and our lungs. We need to breathe deeper. Our core is the center of our body. It's the center of our balance and alignment, so it needs to be the st our strongest part and our focus. And we strengthen our core with deep breaths. Each, depth, each deep breath you take strengthens your muscle and your memory of slowing your breath and oxygen intake. So each deep breath you take improves your breathing ability. And likewise, each shallow breath you take weakens your muscles and reduces your breathing ability. So to take a deep breath, first completely exhale by sucking in your abs to push out all the air from your lungs. And hold with and hold while your lungs are completely devoid of air for as long as you like. And then inhale fully. Engage your abs to bring the air lower into your lungs and hold for as long as you can or as long as it's comfortable, as long as you like. And you exhale, completely exhale, and you repeat. And each breath 
Each deep breath stretches and strengthens underused muscles, lower abs, your diaphragm, your chest, and your lungs, and improves digestion and circulation. And you can be doing this in any posture. You're sitting down, standing, when you're doing any, when you're doing any everyday activity. Um, when you eat too much, your posture slumps and deep breathing becomes more difficult. You'll be able to breathe deeper when you reduce your average food intake. Your uh, core development and alignment will be considerably easier when you're, fat, when you're eating lighter, you're fasting, or you're juice fasting. Um, for some, when you deep breathe, it might, uh, for some, deep breathing may be difficult because we've never practiced it. And realizing the limitations of our breath could frustrate some people and make them really push the limits of holding their breath. And this is actually the most dangerous technique that one could do, and I advise one to be aware of their surroundings when doing so. Um, you want to be comfortable losing consciousness and following. This is the breath bomb. When you inhale a full breath and you hold for an uncomfortably long time, most are not used to the extreme oxygen intake, and this could shock their mind. Um, you could lose consciousness briefly and get extremely lightheaded for a moment. You'll feel light, free, full of love for a few seconds, and then regain consciousness. And you may remember and then this time you may remember some previous trauma and realize this feeling, this love that you've always had within yourself. And if you fall, you won't really feel much. Um, just be careful that there's nothing dangerous to fall on around you. When our breath is deep, our hips, abs, and spine joints are much more mobile and crackable. So now we can start cracking our joints, starting with our hips and lower spine. Throwback breathing. So we're going to do throwback breathing. And this is where we stand straight with our feet parallel and we lean our core and our chest backwards and we flex and if we need uh, more stability we can flex our glutes and our legs uh, to hold ourselves up straight but you want to uh, you want to engage your core to help yourself and if you need you can put your hands on your on your glutes or thighs for extra stability. So you want to put weight onto the left side of your body, onto your left heel, and you want to squeeze your left hip behind your right hip. And you want to twist your right hip forward. You want to bring and roll your right hip forward. That's the twisting motion. And you want to feel the tension in your spine and your hips as you roll. You'll feel the tension maybe in the center of your spine, maybe on the left side. Um, and you just want to keep on rolling and pushing your hips past the tension and you should hear popping and cracking. And you just keep going back and forth. And there will kind of be two waves of the cracking. Um, as you take your full, as you take your full exhale, as you take your full, full breath, uh, your stomach will expand and you'll be able to reach and crack uh, joints that you normally don't, aren't able to. And then when you fully exhale, um, you'll also be able to get a second wave of joint cracking. So you can continue rolling, continue cracking as long as you like, but after a while, tension may build up in your lower back from the pops adjusting your posture. And what you want to do is kneel on the ground and you want to get ready to bend over into child's pose. And as you do, you want to flex your lower abs and bring your lower abs high and bring your lower abs higher as you bend over and you should feel popping in your spine, in your lower spine, uh, maybe your upper spine, possibly your head and your neck. And the next breathing and the next method is, and, and this is just wonderful. This is just what you need. Once, once you are able to crack your hips, you'll realize just how much more mobility, how much more flexibility you have how much more connected your body feels, just uh, uh, the circulation, the feeling, the, uh, the balance, the alignment. Yeah, it'll, it'll really even out and you'll really feel much, much better. And this is just the first, first, first cracking technique. So the next one is a great stretching and realigning of the spine after you sleep or you sit for a while. Um, you'll need a pull-up bar and this is the standing hang hip twist, where you stand underneath the pull-up bar and you hold on to it. And with your feet planted, you lean your chest and your hips forward, 
you pull your hips and spine up from your tailbone. You're going to squeeze your left hip behind and twist your right hip forward, just like you're doing on throwback breathing. And you're going to roll and get cracks and pops. And as you do so, you want to stretch the back of your neck and lean your head back so that you're fully stretching your spine. And this, and when your fine, spine's fully stretched, it's much easier for your for your posture to align and for you to get pops and cracks in your spine. And after a while, tension may build up in your lower back again. Remember to do child's pose. And a slightly quicker and advanced way to crack your hips and uh, to crack your hips and your lower spine is the spinal hip wiggle. And this is kind of, if you've seen the flossing dance move, this is pretty much that, where you lean your core and your head back, you engage your abs, and you have your right arm in front of you and your left arm behind you. You're gonna squeeze your left hip behind and twist your right hip forward, doing the same hip rolling motion that you were doing the past two exercises, and you're gonna keep wiggling this right hip ahead of your left through the arms in tension. And it's like the flossing dance move, but you only do it to your left side over and over. And you'll just continue to get uh, two waves of tracks when, um, as you inhale and exhale. And after a while, tension may build in your lower back. Uh, remember to do a child's pose. Right. When we unlock our lower spine and our hips, our bodily system is gonna, our, our body is gonna untwist and open up a lot of underused muscles in our legs and abs, which will be tight and need to be stretched out so that the rest of our body can properly open up. So we need to stretch our legs after we unlock our hips and our lower spine. So our feet, ankles, calves, and thighs are gonna be tight uh, once our body untwists. We need to stretch our thighs and our abductors. And I really like the butterfly stretch. It stretches your thighs, uh, your lower your stomach, and your neck. So after we unlock our hips and our legs, our upper body will also begin to shift, and now we can start stretching. Um, and now uh, our neck and head stretches will really be effective. So we can do atlas stretching, and this is these are pretty much common neck stretches that everyone knows, but I call them atlas stretching because it's stretching it's stretching the atlas vertebra, which is the top vertebra of our spine that connects to our head. So we can stretch it, we can do a left-sided stretch where we place our hand on the top of our head and we pull it to the right so that we feel stretching on the left. And we may have some cracking. And when we stretch it to the right, we will pull it to the left. And we'll feel the stretch on the right side. And there may be cracking. And then when we stretch it from the back, we want to hold our neck in straight posture. We want to place our hands on top of our head and pull our head forwards. We want to keep our neck flexed straight, and we want to feel. We want to feel the back of our. We want to feel the stretch on the back of our spine, and we should also feel the back of our tongue rise in relation to our throat. And this is, and we can also do this diagonally, slightly to the right, or slightly to the left. And then we can uh, atlas stretch from the front, where we pull our head backwards. And this is stretching the front of, and this is stretching the front of our neck, and this is compressing the back of our neck, our spine. And this jaw recession that people have is due to underused muscles in the front of our neck. And this stretch will strengthen those and free them up for atlas turning, which is our next exercise. And this is where you turn your head as far left as you can. And you want to stretch it further by doing a forced yawn. When you yawn, you're stretching your facial muscles, so you're doing the max stretch that you can. And then you want to turn your head as far right as you can. And after that, you want to firmly press with your hands to feel to feel cracking and tissue movement near your jaw and ears. And this can just be repeated over and over again, where you stretch your head as far to the left, add a yawn stretch, and stretch to the right, and firmly press to crack and 
adjust your tissue. So Atlas turn it. So this can also be done when your head is turned. When you turn your head upwards and you stretch the front of your neck. So Atlas turning aligns your body, and Atlas is a reference to the Greek Titan holding up the globe in mythology, and that's our skull. But it's also a reference to an atlas, a map. When we turn our atlas a vertebrae, we're also aligning our body and our body's internal map. So when you feel the tension and the relief from twisting, it should be clear that most people's head, you should, we should start to understand the saying that people's heads are screwed on tight. Um, after, being, after stretching out and unlocking our neck and our jaw, we may build up tension near our ear. And this can be, and this, and this is when we need to do ramus ramming. Ramus ramming, this is, yeah. Um, with your hand behind your ramus, you want to push your ramus forward and open your mouth. And this will bring your jaw forward and your ramus outward. And when you get a, uh, a loud, dry, and wet crack, that means that you likely have some more tissue open for some more wet cracking, which means that you should continue atlas turning along with that ramus ramming. And after every few atlas turns, you want to ramus ram, and you should feel some wet cracks and growth. Uh, in your jaw, your palate, and your uh, and around your ear. So to align our palate, our bite, and our jaw, we want to practice biting using a full bite synchronization. And this is where our left palate bites as far outside of our lower left jaw, and our right palate bites inside the lower left jaw, the lower right jaw. So you're gonna bite down from the left to the right in a wave-like motion. And the left palate and the right lower jaw will open outwards every time we do this motion. And it's that easy. And you can easily do it while you're deep breathing or doing many everyday tasks. If you have TMJ pain, uh, do full bite synchronizations onto the side without pain and it will align your bite and the pain will go away. So, now we'll talk about mewing, and this is tongue posture. And where you wanna raise your tongue onto your palate to widen and expand in your palate with an outward force. And the back third of your tongue, basically where your tongue is resting, is the most important part of contact because that's touching the soft palate and that's the most malleable for our growth. It'll open up room for our tongue to widen and to, uh, for it to grow forward in our mouth. So don't worry if you can't do it effectively or if you don't feel progress from it, it'll get more natural as you do these other joint cracking exercises and stretches. And as your body posture improves, your tongue and palate space will also grow. So here are some of the best items that you can buy to help your progress. You can get a tennis ball. If you, if you roll the arch of your foot onto the tennis ball firmly, you can stretch your feet, muscles, and release knots uh, in that arch area that stretching on the stairs can't release. You can kind of get the same. You can, massaging with hands is kind of a substitute, um, but a tennis ball is very nice for that too. And a pull-up bar is very helpful because you can do the standing hang hip twist after, after you wake up or after work, after you've been sitting down for a while. Hanging on the bar will open up your shoulders, neck, and hips. And you can do pull-ups while you grip opposite sides uh, with your left and right hand, and that will help your balance. An exercise yoga ball, um, sitting on that is better for your core than sitting on a couch or your chair is and <laughs> and this will improve your deep breathing over time uh, and the yoga mat is important because it gives you support and cushion when you're lying down and doing stretches and exercises so that's pretty much all you need from the info that I've compiled in my guide that's linked in the description so try out the stretches that give you the most relief
Whether your journey could take a few months or years, it's really a lifetime awareness and healing. Is, that's what's in store. The most important thing is to just relax and go at your own pace. Our entire body is connected. Sometimes stretching our feet and calves can open up our neck and our jaw. So don't just follow these stretches. As you get comfortable, experiment with them and discover what works best for you. And this information is still in development as it's only taken into account my experience thus far. I'm always trying to better my info and to help as many people heal as possible. So your experience and feedback is highly valued. If these techniques did or didn't work for you and relieve your tension, please write about it. Please share your experiences, thoughts, or questions you have in the comments or in the Discord server, Unlocking Mortality, also linked. Uh, this is a community where we'll share our experiences and our knowledge. And you can message my Discord, also linked, uh, to have a 5-30 to 30 minute call and we can discuss anything. And if there's anything else that you want me to talk about uh, this next time for uh, future videos, like the, the how I see the posture problem in society, uh, the implications of uh, these self chiropractics uh, has on society, um, how my mindset has changed throughout this journey, or the some experimental techniques that I've been doing. So once you start to feel the mountains of pain that you've accumulated, and once you reverse it, your screws truly loose, and you may change. Uh, as self healing may be your priority when self communication improves. If this information makes you more aware of your body's tension and discomfort, find comfort in the truth and your growth. As your physical health and posture improves, your mental health should also improve, as it's free from nagging thoughts of physical pain. This will increase your love of life, which improves your life, everyone around you's life, and the world. Even though we have become more aware of issues, the awareness is how we heal and get stronger. Thanks for watching and listening. I wish you all the best health and hope we all continue finding greater relaxation. Peace.